Hello friends, this video on relations and functions part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, you should have watched relation and functions part 1 to part 3. Let's see a new term called relation. Actually, we have seen this term relation. We have discussed that relation is nothing but a relation or a rule between objects. For example, when we say father and mother, I told, student and teacher, husband and wife. So these are examples of relation. So we have cleared the concept of relation. You know what relation is. Now we'll discuss relation in terms of Cartesian product. So relation is nothing but a subset of Cartesian product. Relation is nothing but a subset of Cartesian product. Please note subset is a very crucial word. Relation is a subset of Cartesian product. Relation is a subset of Cartesian product A cross B. And that subset is derived by describing a relationship between A and B. Because we can have n number of subsets. So to create a subset, we should have a relationship. This is the relation which is following. I have this example A and B. A has element A, B and C. And B has element Amit, Bittu, Bholi and Don. The relation here is first letter of element in B the first letter of first letter of element in should B should be A. So Amit to Bhimu is a relation, Amit A to Amit is a relation, B to Bittu is a relation, B to Bholi is a relation and C to Don is not a relation, D is not there. So this is the we see in this case when you say A B this when you say A cross B you'll get n number of products for example A comma Amit correct a comma bit two, or you will say a comma bholi, or you will say a comma don, and you will say b comma bit two, b comma amit. If you keep on doing, you'll find so many sets. But when you say relation, you are taking a subset of this, and to create a subset, we should have a relation. So in this case, we are saying the relation is that the first element of B, the first element of B should be element of A and that's why we have created a relation. So in this relation, the relation will be A comma Amit. This is one. B comma bit two. This is again another relation. B comma Bholi. These are the only three values in this set and this subset is a subset of the bigger set. That is, this is a subset of a cross B and this is nothing but a relation which is binded by a relationship that is first element of first letter in B is equal to A. Relation is nothing but a subset of Cartesian product. To create a relation, to create a subset, there should be a relationship between A and B. So here we see between A and B there is a relationship and the relationship is that second element, the element in B, for the elements in B, the first letter should be element of set A. Let's learn some terms in relation. There is a term called domain. Domain is a set of all first elements of the ordered pair relation. For example, in this case, when we say the relation was A comma Amit, because A is going to Amit. B is going to big two and holy and C is not going anywhere and D is also not pointing anywhere. So the relation was A comma Amit, B comma big two, B comma holy. That's it. So in this case, whatever it comes in the first, the first element of the ordered pair is called domain. So here you note A and B is domain. Please note C is not domain. Because for C, there is no element in the ordered pair. In ordered pair, we don't have C. So domain is only for those inputs, we're getting the output. That case. It's a relation wherein there should be a relation between A and B. So in case of C, there is no relation between A and B. Similarly, range. Range is also all second element in the ordered pair. Ordered pair is must. So here also if you see in the ordered pair we have Amit, Bittu and Bholi only. 
so only these three are range and don is not part of range as we have done for domain a and b were domain c was not domain similarly i mean bit to and bool is part of range and don is not part of range because these are the second elements in the ordered pair and you see don is not part of ordered pair please understand in domain you should not take all the elements in set a and in range you should not take all the elements in set b only those elements which are part of the ordered pair should be taken so here a and b was a part of ordered pair so we took a and b as domain since c was not part of ordered pair so c was not taken as part of domain similarly for range you should not take all the elements in b only those elements of b which are part of ordered pair is part of range in this case amit bit to and bool is part of range and don is not part of range so we have a one more term called codomain codomain is the whole set of b is called codomain the whole set of b here amit bit to bool don everything is codomain let's learn this term codomain is nothing but whole set of b so we see something like domain range or domain codomain so domain is always on the left hand side so it includes all the elements which are part of pair ordered pair range range includes all the second element of the ordered pair and codomain is all elements irrespective of whether it is paired ordered pair or not all the elements of b is part of codomain so you can learn like this domain range and domain codomain when you say range you say all the elements of part of ordered pair when you say codomain you include all the elements and when you say domain you say all the part element which are part of set a and part of ordered pair are part of range relation representation a relation can be represented by roster form set builder form or arrow diagram form we will go through all this thing roster form it can be represented in roster form also set builder form and arrow form roster form we have discussed for example when we say a comma amit right this is one set b comma bit two and b comma bully so this was the example of roster form where all the elements are listed set builder form when you say x cross y then you can say x y where x is member of r and y is member of r such kind of representation can also be done for relation an arrow diagram we have discussed this way there are two set a and b this has element a b c and this has amit goli bit two so in this case we can create a row diagram such kind of representation called arrow diagram let's take one problem here so we have a set a which has six element 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 and we are supposed to draw a relation from a to a x y where y is equal to x plus 2 in this relation we are asked to draw arrow diagram and we also asked to create a set builder form also we are asked to write the domain codomain and range of r so now let's see we create x and y x can have elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 correct now y is equal to x plus 2 so it is 1 plus 2 is 3 2 plus 3 is 5 3 plus 3 is 6 4 plus 3 is 7 5 plus 3 is 8 6 plus 3 is 6 plus 2 2 plus 2 is 4 sorry 3 plus 2 Two is five, and four plus two is six. Five plus two is seven, and six plus two is eight. So when we see that six, seven, and eight are not part of A because X and Y both are part of A, so we can ignore this. So the only set we have is one comma three, two comma four, three comma five, and four comma six. So this is. example in roster form now when we are supposed to create arrow representation you can create two box like this and in this we have element 1 2 3 4 and here we have 3 4 5 6 
5, 6. We can keep the element 1, 2 here also and we can keep the element 5, 6 also here. But these are not linked. So 1 is linked to 3, 2 is linked to 4, 3 is linked to 5, 4 is linked to 6. This is set A and this is set A. A has element 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. B has element 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. But these are orphan, these are orphan. Now we are asked to write domain. So domain, if you go by this, it says elements on the left in the Cartesian product. So on the left we get is 1, 2, 3, 4. So we can say domain is 1, 2, 3. Also from the diagram you see all the elements which has some values in this right side are domain. So 1, 2, 3, 4 are the only elements which has value 5, 6 are not having any value in the right side. Similarly for range all the elements on the right side of the Cartesian product. So Cartesian product is 3, 4, 5, 6. This side are the values. So 3, 4, 5, 6 are the values which are on the right side on the second element of the Cartesian product. And from the diagram also we see all the elements which is in the, in the second uh, side this is coming from the first side. There is an arrow representation. So here for 3, 4, 5, 6 there is an arrow representation. It's, it has some values in A but for 1 and 2 there is no link between A and B. So we will ignore 1 and 2. So range is 3, 4, 5, 6. When we are talking about codomain, codomain is nothing but all the values that are there in this set. So in this set the values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the codomain is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I hope this is clear. So what we have done, we have formed x and y with the rule as told y is equal to x plus 2 and then we found that 7 and 8 is out of range so we ignore these values so we have got this 1 3 2 4 3 5 and 4 6 pair so this is our pair we have represented the same thing in the arrow diagram form and we have formed domain domain is all the first element of the Cartesian product so the first element is 1 2 3 4 Range is all the first element of the Cartesian product that is 3, 4, 5, 6 and codomain is all the elements of the second set that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. From the arrow diagram also we can find domain and range. Domain is any element on the left hand side for which we have output for which we have a reference in the second hand side. Similarly for range is any value on the right hand side for which we have a reference in the left hand side. So this solves the problem. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online test, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.